Hello my fellow ants, and welcome to Ant Watch News, where we present weekly news every Sunday on what's been happening in Croydon and London. <music> Terry Brown, 41, was prosecuted by Croydon Council's licensing team for owning two branches of an unlicensed tatter company. Tales of Inspiration has one branch on Shirley Road in Craydon, and the second on Godstone Road in Purley. Mr Brown was found guilty on February 25th at Croydon Magistrates' Court of for offences, to offences of failing to license a special treatment premises, and to offences for failing to provide details of ownership of the two premises. Police are searching for a missing man from Surrey with links to Droyden. Lucas, 19, is from Caterham and was reported missing at 3.20pm yesterday, Thursday, April 11th. He is described as being white, 5 feet 11, slim with dark hair. Police have said he may be wearing a white, orange and black zip-up jacket. Anyone with information is asked to contact Surrey Police with the reference PR SYP2024011. Ex Page 3 model Samantha Fox today denied assaulting her Norwegian wife after a drunken bust up on a British Airways flight from Heathrow to Munich, which forced it to abandon takeoff. The glamour model and pop star, 57, threatened a police officer when she was arrested and spent a night in a prison cell after chaos erupted on board the plane on December 3rd last year. <music> Woman has been taken to hospital after being attacked with a knife and having what was feared to be a corrosive liquid thrown at her face in Westminster earlier today, Thursday, April 11th. Nancy Yume revealed the shocking event on her Instagram story saying, Someone has threatened my sister's life in the UK. They poured acid on my sister's phage. They threatened to stab her all over her body and they have stabbed her on her hands, just outside her Airbnb in Westminster. A man has died after a stabbing attack in South London. Police were called by the London Ambulance Service, LOS, at 6 to p.m. on Friday, April 12th, following reports of a man suffering a stab injury in Felmonger's Yard, Croydon. The victim, believed to be aged in his 20s, was pronounced dead at the scene, the Metropolitan Police said. One man has been arrested and remains in custody. Children can now enjoy two new playgrounds in Croydon, one at Canterbury Road and the other at Whitehorse Road Recreation Grounds. The playgrounds were officially opened by Croydon Council as part of the Croydon Regeneration Scheme and a series of investments to improve the borough's parks. Executive Mayor Jason Perry and Cabinet Member for Streets and Environment, Councillor Scott Roach, inspected the parks. On August 18th, Sussex police said a woman in her 40s reported having suffered a sustained assault on the night of August 15th and morning of August 16th. She suffered significant injuries requiring hospital treatment, police added. It was heard that Sam Everett assaulted his victim throughout the night as they travelled from Croydon to Horsham, leaving her out of consciousness on multiple occasions. A man has been jailed after kidnapping and attempting to rape a woman in a van in North London. Tyrone Arlert, 37, has been described by police as a violent predator. The Met was called at around 11.40am on Sunday, July 24, to reports of a man standing at the back of a white van in Marsh Lane, Herringy, with his jeans pulled down and sounds of a woman from inside the van shouting, Help me!